Okay, I'm going to show you how to make an image of a consistent character like this using stable diffusion on automatic 1111. So I'm going to explain how this workflow work and then after that I will show you how to set it up step by step. So um, you will need to use an SDXL model. I find that not all the model work. So uh, the model I'm using is ProtoVision XL. So I recommend you to use the same model as I do uh, to reproduce the result. After that, you can switch to other models and experiment with it. So this workflow uses two control nets. The first control net is control net Kenny. It fixed the uh, overall composition to generate a three by three grid of a consistent character image. And then the second control net is the IP adapter. So it is used to copy the face of an image that you provide and then put it into the final image. And then you also need the A detailer extension. So the reason you need this is because you are generating an image with 1024 by 1024, but with nine different faces. So the faces are simply too small to be created uh, accurately. So you need to have this extension to do automatic in painting. Uh, what it does is it would take out one of the face and then in paint it a high resolution and then resize it back down and put it back to the final image and then do this one by one nine times. So with that said, now I'm going to show you how to set it up on a clean uh, automatic 1111. So I will put in the prompt and the negative prompt and then the stable diffusion checkpoint need to select uh, as this protovision XL model. And then after that, set the width and height to 1024 and 1024. So now we go down to the control neck session. You should see three control necks uh, in your extension. So if you don't see it, if you only see one, you need to go to setting and then control net here. And then you will see an option called multi control net and control net unit number. Say to free and then click apply and then restart your GUI. So now I have it here. So I'm going to uh, put my image to the control net zero canvas and then enable it. And then I'm going to click Kenny. So the processor should be Kenny. And then I'm going to use the diffuser XL Kenny mid. So um, you will want to tune in down a little bit. So let's try 0 0.4. And also the ending control step is the number of steps um, in fraction that uh, this control net will end. For example, if I only use sampling step of 20, and then I say the ending control step at 0 0.5, that means I only apply this control net from step 1 to step 10, and then in step 11 to 20, so there would be no candy control net being applied. The reason you want to do that is that uh, sometimes you will apply it uh, too much, uh, it restricts the image generation, so it would just follow the shape of this image. So you want to free the image generation from candy control net at one point, so that the image generation can just simply follow the prompt and the IP adapter that we just uh, set up. So when I set up control net, I always want to review it. Um, so you can click this uh, run preprocessor button. So you can see the uh, pre-processing of this image with candy. 
So now it looks good because it accurately extracts the outline of this control image. So next, um, I'm going to set up the IP adapter. So for this, you will need to use an image that you like. Uh, it can be generated or it can be something that um, just like a photo of a face you want to copy. So I put it in the control net unit one and then enable it. And then let's see, I click IP adapter. And then IP adapter face ID plus. And then the model is IP adapter face ID plus V2 SDXL. And then for this one, um, maybe I can start with 0 0.8. So go back to Kenny one more time. Um, just check the setting. And then, oh, okay, okay, I found that I didn't click the pixel perfect. So this option is to make sure that the pre-processed image is also the same size as the one that you specify here, 1024 by 1024. Um, so what I usually like to do is I don't enable the AD tile first, and then I would generate an image to see how it look because this is quicker. So now you can see this image is generated. Um, don't worry about the face for now. Uh, so you will be able to fix it with the A detailer. So what we want to look at is the overall composition, whether we get uh, nine grids, uh, whether we are getting something that resemble the image in the IP adapter that you provide. So you like this one, then we will fix the seed. And then after that, uh, we would go to the AD Terra session and then enable AD Terra and then generate again. So A detail would detect the faces automatically on the image, and then it would do in painting one by one. And the reason why it works is that it would in paint at a higher resolution, and then scale it back down to the lower to the smaller size, and then put it back uh, to the image. So now we see that um, the image is much nicer because we fix the faces with a detailer. Yeah, so uh, that's how it worked. So one thing I want to show you is that uh, although we are using IP adapter to copy the face of this woman, but um, at the same time, the image is also controlled by the prom. So for example, um, Let's say if I want to uh, change her hair color, let's say uh, it's a bond, and then I can click generate, and then we can see what happened. Okay, we change her hair color. Yeah, so um, the image is influenced by both the IP adapter image and also the prompt. So this is the beauty of IP adapter. So it simply gives you one more option to control the image, but not taking away the option of controlling the image using text. And then you can also change her short color. Uh, maybe I will say uh, black blouse. And then this is something that uh, you will need to experiment with, uh, especially if you are putting two different colors um, on the image. A lot of time, stable diffusion may confuse the color, like where it's where. For example, um, in this lower corner, um, it may not seem to be 
gen everything correctly. But um, this is something you can simply change to seed and regenerate and then try to get one that looks good. Okay, so uh, that's everything I want to show you today. Uh, I'm going to put the um, text description of this workflow in the link together with where to download these control images, um, including uh, this grid of image and also the IP adapter image I use, uh, as well as the link to download all the models uh, and all the extension you need for this workflow. All right, thank you for watching.